Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for a series of small maps. That's right, there are going to be four small maps that we're going to do starting with Ultra Small. Can, or use your space wisely. Uh, let's see if we can. Now, I have taken a look at these, so I sort of have a plan for what I'm going to be doing. And some of them... Are, uh, are relatively easy. As we can see, there is a set of stairs that go up to an emitter that does 0.5 every one second. Doesn't seem that bad until you start to realize every one second that is going to increase by 0.5. So every second just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Now this map itself, uh, we start with an iron port, fully active, which is fantastic. We start with an ultra, which is pretty cool. We got some mining space, which is amazing. And we don't care about any of that. Uh, we really don't. Well, not any of that. We don't care about the mining space, for instance. Uh, you know, seems like it'd be kind of nice, right? But we have we have an emitter. We have walls. And yeah, that's, that's really all we need. I mean, this one is actually almost a little cheat. Uh, but you can just go boom, boom, and bazinga. And that really should be all we need. You know, I'll, I'll even toss down another one so we get some more energy generation. You might as well. You know, I, I love me my energy generation. Uh, so let's let's just do that, right? Let's just see what happens. Unpause and get going. And there we go. We're already building up. Uh, got our things going. We have an energy in our storage. You know, maybe, maybe we want a mortar. Maybe we want. I'd say we want a spray. Yeah, let's get a spray. Uh, can't hurt, right? You know, can't hurt. But as you can see, the shield is going down. And yet, we're still okay. Uh, the nullifier is already almost up. Uh, shield? Not quite there. Not quite there. So, you know, I'm feeling pretty okay with this. Uh, and, you know, what? let's just toss our uh, sprayer up to the top here. And just turn it to, say, always on. Right? It's going to go up there. It'll flood on down. Should be pretty good for us. But there we go. As we can see, we're still there. And we have indeed nullified. Uh, it is already up to, uh, it was up to like 20 20 some odd every couple of seconds, which is pretty fantastic for it. But there we go. We also got look at the spikes of AC already coming. We've even we've even set up a defense. Um, so there we go. If we disable AC blocking, the AC is even going to fly on in. So we even take it out. But you know, just a nice little tiny map. Nice little tiny. How do we do in the times? Uh, 40.7. Not too bad. Uh, looks like oh, 0.2 seconds. Oh, Octonius. Uh, maybe we can put the something a little bit fa further ahead. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, let's let's move on to the next one. That's right, the next one will be... Which one is the next one? Uh, small map. I think we are going for a small map. Next, uh, we're also going to do small over here and small impossible. These are the four that we're going to be doing right now. Climb the stairs. That's right, it is... Uh, uh, just to climb the stairs map. <laughs> you know, there we go. Here are our stairs. We are going to have to climb them to get up to the top to get to that 75 emitter every 0.5 seconds. But the real key here is that bad boy. Look at that. It's a crystal. You know what crystals do? They make some delicious, delicious crimson. Ooh, never, never a fan of crimson. Uh, we do have some nice areas. We have a few bit of urns, nine urns available. Again, this is, uh, this is what, 75 every, this is 10 <coughs> every 0.5, so not too bad, not too bad. But we do have to get to it relatively quickly. We start off with 100 energy, but we also start off with a couple of Ultrax, which is pretty glorious if you ask me. So let's, uh, let's plan this puppy out. <coughs> what are we gonna do? We are going to first, as always, establish our energy dominance. Uh, we are going to want, of course, our uh, our lovely, lovely towers. So some towers going down. Fantastic. We are also going to want a factory. You know, grab ourselves a factory right on over here. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, we're going to want an urn port. We have plenty of urns, so might as well. And of course, we're going to need our base. So our base can be in the center. It can be basically anywhere. Uh, it's not connected to the old track right away, which I actually don't kind of like. Maybe I'll swap my base for my uh, urn port. I'd rather it be using the Ultrac energy than the uh, box energy, if at all possible. Uh, so that is kind of the goal, at least initially. And we'll also toss down our urn port right here, then. Uh, and with that, we can just fill everything up, right? Get all, get all the good stuff going. Now, we do have the issue of cr some creep in our way, right? So let's, let's just toss down a couple of these bad boys. You know what? You're, you're going to be able to clean up quite a bit from there. Uh, that's going to be, what, like 100 energy from them? I think that's pretty good. Maybe one more, because we have the Ultrac. We're going to have two Ultracs. We're going to have the energy from the box. I'm feeling pretty okay with that. And let's just see what happens. Let's get going. Uh, as we can see, the creep over here is 
bubbling, so there's little pools of things that we're gonna need to get out of our way. But for now, for now we're feeling we're feeling pretty good, pretty good overall. Uh, plenty of energy going, so let's even build a couple more of these bad boy towers. And you know, what? I think we're gonna even want a couple of these just on the edge, right? You know, feels pretty good. It will also uh, help expand. So more expansion, more good. As you can see, we're already clearing up the mean streets right off the bat. And you know what? With clearing up the mean streets, I want to <clears throat> I wanna start working right away. I'm preventing this from climbing. As you can see, this emitter isn't even turned on yet. So I don't want this creep to get out of hand and start climbing because there are those little, little splotches of uh, split breeder, and that's going to push the creep up. And you know what? I want them to be us. I, I want to move up, not them. So yeah, that's, that's kind of the goal there. And of course, there are a couple of uh, buried urns around, so let's uh, let's make sure we can grab those as well. And you know what? I'm feeling feeling pretty good. You know, we can start moving out, clearing up the mean streets, as we said. You know, we'll even give you and say you uh, an urn because we we have urns to spare, so might as well. Uh, with that in mind, we're gonna need to start toss. Uh, can this fit in? Ooh, this can fit in sideways. Beautiful. Uh, ooh, can you not fit in? Oh, uh, because the cannon. All right. Can you move up one more? That's fine. This cannon will get built. We're going to be doing good. Get on down there. Save our miners. There we go. This can move on out. And we can get some more of these. So can they fit sideways? They can. Glorious. Now, unfortunately, our generation is not so hot right now. So we're not going to... We're not going to use all four of these just yet. They're going to be off while we, we pump up this one. Who's going to get an urn? That's right. Of course, set up your energy. Energy is good. Energy is grand. And there we go. This guy doesn't have that much energy to his name, but he was able to fend that off. Although this is now producing. So problems abound, but you know, we're kind of okay at the moment. Not super worried. Uh, plenty of energy to go around. Let's just toss that down. Move you slightly over there, clean all of that up. And yeah, we're, we're basically just in cleanup duty, as you can see already. I mean, it's feeling, feeling pretty okay. Um, I'm feeling decent. We do have green R down there, which is, you know, a nice handy thing to have. But you know what, I, th I think, ooh, there we go. Let's clean up the mean streets. Get your energy, come on. There we go, get your miner on. That's what we need, we really need, there we go. Now our miner is on. Perfect. Our earned miner, I should say. So now our deficit should vanish pretty much immediately. I hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just start moving our butt up here, because clearly we're going to want this blue light, uh, which, you know, uh, we do need a sprayer, too, although our deficit is a little high right now. So I'm not going not gonna to super worry about the sprayer at the moment, but we're going to want one. Uh, in theory. In theory. Uh, we do have... Uh, some red on coming in now, which is also fantastic. Very important is this red on, and so important. So I'm gonna start using it. And <laughs> you know me, I love shields. I I do. Uh, you know I use them so much and so well, right? Uh, now that's a little joke. I I almost always forget about shields. So whoa. Uh, let's let's take a look at it from the side. As you can see, it is a rather steep hill. So. That's why top down is actually a little bit nicer to see what is exactly going on right now. But we can see we're, we're building everything up quite nicely. Our generation is now much, much nicer, so we can actually turn these on. Uh, our turp is almost done, which is fantastic. He's just going to give us uh, a few more of these miners. Uh, do we want them all to have urns? No, we just want like these two to have urns, I think. That'll be pretty good for us. And we now have plenty of other tools at our disposal, right? We have all these, they're basically full energy. So let's just, let's just move them up, you know, do their thing, let them kill some creep, it's what they do. So <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that though. Uh, do we need a sprayer yet? No, I mean, I, if our, if we have the energy for it. Right now we're barely holding on for energy. Uh, so let's, ooh, but we do have some shields, that's right. Now these shields, I want to be in rather particular spots, right? I think like around here is pretty good because I want the shield to sort of keep this hemmed in. That's kind of my goal for that one. Um, that being said, now that our energy is sorted, boom, nullify that from the bottom. Oh my. You know, it's good to go from the back door. It's always good to go from the back door. Uh, we can also toss down a sprayer. Uh, maybe one down here, one on up here. Feels pretty good to me. Get those going. Get that auto spraying, which is pretty awesome. And how are these? These are almost done. 
Yeah, those are super close to done, so even better. Bazinga, getting our energy much, much better sorted. And look at this, the towers, you know, they're having a hard time. You know, the creep is a little high, but, you know, they're, they're doing it. They're doing it. Uh, you need to get your butt up there, though. Uh, and, yeah, there we go. We have established initial dominance, right? Uh, I think I'm going to put you up here all the way. That's going to be pretty good to me. Uh, and our goal is just to clear off all of this creep down here. Feels pretty good to me. Fingers crossed we can. Bazinga. Ooh. Just clear it off. You can do it. Uh, you go there. You go there. Clear it off. Get it safe. Get it secret. Uh, and as you can see right now, <clears throat> it, it this is starting to breed. So this is our problem point. But we do have the shield, which is actually kind of protecting us that wee bit, of course. Now, we did lose our connection, uh, which is problematic because we lost all of our rena. But that's okay because we just got placed our other shield. Now, our other shield will not last that long. But you know what? That's okay. Why is that okay? Because guess what? We can nullify from here. Oh my, oh my. So once this is done, we will start our nullification process, of course. It's going to be pretty good. Uh, get that going. And, yeah, we're going to need us to start bringing some things back, though. Because, you know, if they're out of energy, they do need some. It is unfortunate. Uh, but we do also want to try and help this along. Now that our energy is completely sorted, I am just going to do some of these, you know, all over the place. Because why not? We have the energy. Uh, ooh, that was not high enough. No, that's okay. I'm okay with that. There we go, there we go, there we go. <coughs> ooh, Let's move you, shall we? Uh, we can also start some mortars. That's right, we can have some mortars, say, over here, like so. Uh, we'll also toss down another pylon, say, there, which will actually, if we move into the corner, we'll have a better connection point around. Uh, this should be pretty much all of our energy, but these mortars, they're going to get earned. So we do want some earned. Now, that being said, even though we do have the shields doing their shieldy thing, they're not quite doing, you know, they're not able to hold it forever. So, we are in a losing battle in that regard, but that's okay. That's okay, because, you know what, the energy is coming. Uh, and there we go. We are now officially holding. Feels pretty good. And we can toss down some support more terrors uh, down here. That's right, they're just going to shoot this, which will be quite nice. Uh, yeah, we can, we can toss down a whole slew of them, why not? Doesn't hurt at all. And we can even move up our sprayer. So, glorious, glorious, glorious. The shield, you did your job. You did great. Now the goal is our mortars are going to start taking this down. And this is where the shield really shines, right? Because if the shield slows their ascent through this area, then we can kill it before it becomes crimsonated. And that's amazing. So is this even necessary at this point? Honestly, no, because that nullifier is being built. Uh, ooh, we can even overload. Look at that. Overload and overload. Um, but what's really nice is if we couldn't build a nullifier down here, this is how I would want to do it, right? Using the shields to slow this down, because then we are then able to shoot this before it turns into a giant wave of crimson that's going to come and kick our butt. And just like that, we have done the second tiny map, or small map, I guess in this regard. Not too bad. 133, I could have done it a little bit faster and get into that nullifier, but you know what? I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Let's go to the third map, that's right. So, third map is which one? Which one? This one. Small! Alright, so this is just a small map. Just a nice, nice small map. Um, fantastic. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, this one. I mean, there. <laughs> this is it. Uh, this is the map. Um, honestly speaking, you know, it's doing three every 1.5 seconds. Uh, I don't even know if we need anything I, I don't definitely don't want those cannons like we could replace these cannons with say this and this just to get more energy right off the rip and do we even care about a cannon that's the big question do we care about a cannon um because we could go straight for a nullifier right and that might work because shields i think i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it if it doesn't work i'm gonna restart and build this cannon um but what i'm gonna do is turn this off Start her up. Uh, with that. Actually, I didn't even want to turn this off. I wanted to uh, destroy. Because we're going straight for a nullifier. That's right, that's right. 
because uh, the nullifier can be inside. So boom, we just built those two. Now those two are only there to give us that little bit more energy generation. Now the question is, is this enough? And this I don't know, I haven't tested or anything like that. I know shields take some time to come down, and it's not really producing that much. So it looks like we're still in a little bit of a deficit, so I don't think this is going to work. Uh, you know, it's all, it's all an experiment. We may need one cannon, unfortunately. Uh, and that's okay, that's okay. Yeah, this nullifier, even if the nullifier gets built, it's not going to get powered before it gets destroyed, I think. So, yeah, it did get built, which is grand. But, yeah, unfortunately, uh, I think the creep... Well, maybe not. We shall see. Uh, how much energy does it have need? It needs nine more energy, and it's starting to take damage. Oh, uh, there we go. Boom! Okay. <clears throat> Simple restart. Now we know we want a cannon. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Uh, we are going to do the same thing uh, that we did last time, except we saw how slow it was. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and eke out a bit more energy from these things, right? Uh, so if we can put one here and say one here, I think this may work. Uh, destroy these cannons. Don't really care about them. And we're going to turn this cannon off. Again, with the shields in the way, I'm doing top down. So that is why. Whoa, that was a big zoom out. Uh, there we go. And turn this now on. So we now have all of our energy going into this, but we have two towers that are producing way more energy. And honestly, just with the two towers like this, might now, because they, the two towers would have been destroyed for the, uh, the nullifier. But the thing is, the cannon builds significantly faster than a nullifier, which is why I felt comfortable doing that, right? So there we go. Buzzinga. Well, let's just toss down our nullifier right away. Uh, and we're done. <laughs> there we go. That is the third tiny map in the bag. Now, this is definitely a little bit longer. So, and I'm going to turn supply off. So, I don't, this has enough energy. I don't want to take a little bit more energy right now. So, as you can see, it has seven ammo. That's why I turn supply off, because you know what? <clears throat> if this gets to zero, we can just give it a bullet at a time. But we don't want to waste four energy on it, right? Because uh, that four energy can go straight to our nullifier. So, yeah. I feel that's a, that's a pretty good exchange, if you will. And there we go. Uh, three more bullets left. And at this point, even if this runs out of energy, this will still turn on. And that's what's the most important part. So there we have it. We are at 17, 18. And this is now at one energy left. Oh, look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Buzzing. There we go. You know, just because it's been a good a good boy, you can you can fill up on your ammo. So feel pretty good about that one. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, but last but not least is the problem child, of course. Uh, it's a small map, but it will be a longer small map. Uh, 119. Uh, ooh, look at that. Feel for ooh under a minute. Yeah, fire swamp, of course. Fire swamp, incredible, incredible, incredible player. Uh, fantastic or fantastic with the. Uh, the micro movements and things like that uh very incredible uh but last map for this is a simple small impossible level uh if you like little strategic levels this map is made for you all right uh well i do like little strategic levels so made for me sounds pretty good to me so let's uh restart this mission and see what we are up to what do we have here we have 10 urns available loads of things going on and we have an emitter on top of this mountain Shooting out 8,000 every four seconds. We also have three stashes and a skimmer factory. Oh my, oh my. We also have loads of urns. Like, so many urns. Uh, and I think the big problem here is not here. All right, this, this is sort of our connection to the, uh, to the world. It's this connection. Because this connection has a, uh, a crimson crystal here and i think the crimson crystal is the hardest part right because we can handle creep very very well crimson always seems to be sort of the problem child right so for instance we're gonna want our miners so let's just place our miners in bazinga and i'm gonna do miners up until about here uh why am i doing that because you know i'm on a little defense force because if i have some cannons shooting over here protecting this and this never opens boom we now no longer have to worry about crimson crystals <laughs> are, are things coming from crimson 
So let's see, how do you, ooh, look at that, that looks beautiful. Uh, that being said, we will also turn our miners off because, you know, you always want your miners off to start. Uh, and what are we going to need? We are going to need a factory uh, because we can't make blue white, which is going to be good. We are going to want some AC, of course. Uh, we are, I guess we don't need a refinery, right? We're, there's no green around this map at all. Same thing with no red on, so no shields. Shield, like, just plopping a shield right over there would be. That would be, you know, number one. So, but we will need a factory, just not away, right away, right? We don't really care about it that much. So let's make sure we do have our energy on this side squared away. And I like that. Uh, and I'm going to put my energy up along the top for this side. Now, seems a little weird. You know, why would you go along the top? Eh, and we'll see. We'll see. Uh, that seems pretty good. Uh, actually, this doesn't need to be that close to the top. Bazinga, bazanga. Destroyed. And, yeah, we'll go, like, there. That seems pretty good. Much better. Uh, nice, nice, nice. And, yeah, we're going to want a little defense force here, so maybe we'll get rid of this one and just put it down towards the back. That'll be nice. There we go. Uh, we will want to dig all these up in time, in time, in time. Uh, we are going to rematerialize probably in this corner. Now, that being said, we don't need this at the moment uh, because we want the ones that are going to give us more energy, right? So we're going to go with this to start and see how things go. I have no idea. <laughs> There's our first batch of 4,000 coming our way. Shit, oof, <laughs> ba-boom. So we are going to have loads of creep coming. Uh, it is pumping, pumping, pumping. Plenty of creep in our face. And you know what? That's uh, it's going to be a problem. Going to be a problem. But you know what? We do have some shields to defend us to start, right? Just a bit. So let's, uh, let's already turn on this. Uh, we're basically going to want a couple of these earned right off the rip, right? Just a couple of these earned. Uh, get them going. Uh, that being said, we want one to be built first, of course. Uh, that is the goal. So let's make sure we're doing that. Uh, we are now actually in a, uh, a positive zone. So I'm going to turn off a... Uh, mm, let me turn on a second. How are we doing for storage? Not quite there. We are in a deficit. But, you know, it is going up for both. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty okay. Our goal is to make sure we can build our initial defenses right away. Look at the sheer amount of creep. That is ridiculous. Okay, there we go. We now have our first one built. Uh, let's make sure that's on. Let's turn on all three of these and let's get started with some cannons. That's right, that's right. Uh, cannon squad with a mortar backing. Uh, I guess I'll do the mortar backing right now. I'm a little worried about this mortar. Uh, or this being too much energy, so I'm going to turn you off. But these three are going to be earned, of course. Uh, we are going to want the same on this side, but this side is far more important with the Crimson Crystal right there. So let's see how we're doing for energy. Energy is looking pretty good. This is almost done as well. So once that's done, then we're into the good zone. So that's what we need right now. And then once these are done, we now have just energy to do whatever we want, right? We now can get our earn port. Beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna put you here. Oh, no, I don't want you over there. Hmm, I'm gonna put you into the corner. And can we fit under her port right here? We can, glorious. Uh, and that's gonna give us a couple of these, and we're gonna snag down, of course, a turp or two. Right? Derp, derp. Uh, I'm gonna wait on the third. Uh, we will turn this on. Main reason I want multiple turps is just because we will indeed uh, want to sort of hold everything. But as you can see, with just some earned units, it looks like we're starting to push back from the shield, and that's all we care about. If we can just hold this shield, we are in a glorious, glorious state. Uh, now, that being said, with our energy generation as it is, that's what we can do to this other side, right? So we can do, say, one, two, three. Uh, we can toss in... Ooh... I would much rather be able to put, uh, do, like that, there we go. Put the mortars right behind. I think that looks pretty good. We're going to earn all these eventually. Same thing. Uh, this is going to want an earn eventually as well. And as long as we can hold our choke points, that is all that really matters, right? So step one is hold the choke points. So I'm feeling okay 
it's not perfect. The shields are still kind of going down, but the key is once the shields go down, uh, we will be able to indeed, 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 uh, start to flood with AC. So we are going to need a single solitary sprayer. Uh, now this will need a factory, so we will snag down a factory. And then it's going to be a little interesting because I'm not going to be using the factory for long. So the first key is get your sprayer active, unit on, uh, unit on, and there we go. We have all the urns we actually need, so boom, 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 get that going. Uh, everything should be urn wanted. Ooh, fantastic. Look, look at our urns already. We're at 22 available. It's glorious. Feels pretty good if you ask me, and yeah, we're, we're holding. Uh, not perfect, but we're holding, uh, and I'm quite okay with that. So now that we're getting our energy under control, whew, there we go. Uh, ooh, we can even snag another mortar here. I want another one uh, just to be blasting. Uh, maybe a mortar's not best. Maybe just another cannon would probably be best. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, actually, I want you to be earn one, right? Yeah, I think that's what we want. So we're feeling, we're feeling pretty okay. Uh, we can also do something over here. Uh, I want to move you over there. Uh, I guess I should have actually moved this uh, to where that mortar is for now, but that's okay, that's okay. Uh, we're going to move you over there, and we're going to move you right here. Now, this is an important moment for us, because what we're going to do next is actually go top-down. We're going to go terraform, and we're going to terraform a block at height 20. Uh, it will be, say... I can't see with them in the way. Uh, we want it to be a 9x9. Nine nine. So, Bazinga, just like that. We're also going to do one at height 10. Uh, so, we're going to do one at height 10 there. Beautiful. Uh, and this is how we're going to make... We're going to make a single earned sniper to handle these skimmers. But it's going to be at the top over here, right? So, that's going to be very important for us as well. Uh, and I guess for now, you know, these three, just... Just earn yourselves, right? We got, we got the urns, so it feels pretty good. And there we go. We even have the urns for this as well. So, urn, want that, and bazinga. With those getting urns, uh, I think we'll be good for the rest. So, let's get our urn on. Get our energy going. Eh, maybe we're not quite good for the rest. But we will be. We will be. Oh, yes. Uh, ooh, too much. All right. All right, self. All right. Let's... Turn that off for a moment. Get our energy back. <laughs> Keep shooting, because I just messed up my entire initial plan. Uh, and that's okay. That's okay. The plan will commence. Uh, we are able to sort of hold them back. Again, the real key is the fact that... Look at how fast the cannons were able to clear out where the crystal was. That's the most important part. That's why those three cannons are actually the most important part of this entire plan. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the very big key thing. Uh, and there we go. Now we have plenty, plenty of juice for us. Uh, we're going to convert two of these to blue white just temporarily. Because, uh, you know, we're going to want this spreading, of course. There we go. Now we have some blue white on our sides. Again, look, the shield is holding perfectly. The creeper limit is hit, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and I guess the last thing we want to do is decontamination, right? So I didn't even think about that. Go here. Uh, do, what, decon? Bazinga. Uh, pink click is... Oh, flood. There we go. Flood, 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 flood. Decon. Oh my. That way we can actually land some things in there. Because, you know, that's, that's our real estate. You know, that that is for us, I think. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with that. There we go. Now we have some AC flowing in, which is amazing. And with that, so we need a sniper. So a sniper should actually be able to fit up here. Now, problematically, I didn't even do this right because i was kind of hoping if we do that and i toss a sniper up here does that get energy it doesn't oh my that was my fault um so what i'm gonna do is i am going to paint a single square not flood uh terrain height not decon it's gonna be height 15 just as, i actually only needed a single square but let's let's just do 115 right there so if we do this should feel much better because that's just going to go on up single square goes up and we toss that there 
And now if we toss down a sniper, it's connected. There we go. Uh, this sniper is our protector from the uh, the lovely Forbes and Skimmers. That's right, that's right. So again, we're feeling pretty good. Our AC is starting to build up. Look at that. See, the sniper's just going to town already. So I'm pretty happy with that. And the decon is actually working pretty nicely as well. We can even start to uh, invade, if that's what you want to call it. Right, we can uh, move on up. And this is going to get us one of these to just move on over here. Or both, even. Or all three. That works for me. Uh, the sprayer, you've done a great job. You can just move on in there. Don't really care about you anymore for now. Uh, same thing with this factory. Uh, I do like the factory, uh, but I'm not going to be using it right now. We are going to destroy this factory. Now, why are we destroying a factory? Are we s oh, okay, once everything moves, let's move things out of the way. There we go. So how much space do we have? Do we have the space for a runway down here? We do indeed. So if we do something along this lines, we still have plenty of energy. Uh, and that's going to give us some bombers. That's right. We can we can start with the bombing. Uh, of course, they are in air. Ha <laughs> ha, bombers. That's what we want to see. And this is our initial starting point. We will mo be moving these later. Uh, these uh, cannons and things like that, so I'm not super worried about them at the moment. But as you can see, now we're going to have some bombers on our side, uh, which feels pretty good to me. Uh, what we're going to do is say, uh, all connected, disable AC blocking, and this should fill up this side, but not go through, right? Again, we're still holding this point, which is the most important point. Uh, we do have, you know, as you can see, we're, we're, we're holding. It's not great without a doubt. Uh, all bombers, make sure you get your urns, because might as well have earned bombers, if we have bombers indeed. And now over here we have all of our urns picked up. We have essentially created the towers that we wanted created, so I'm just going to destroy these. So, <laughs> unfortunate. Unfor actually, I shouldn't have destroyed them. That was completely silly of me. I need, I need, uh, I need at least one, so that is my fault there. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay. I'm going to move one of these towers in, just to get it out of the way so we can grab another bomber. Uh, because we still have uh, plenty of urns. Now, since there's actually... Oh, they're all buried right there. Oh, man. Uh, that's silly of me. Uh, but that's perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Uh, because I want another bomber. So, bomb it up again. Uh, as we move this, we will try and get one down here as well. Uh, but let's just finish up over here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And yeah, we're gonna want we're gonna want mortars. We're gonna want cannons. I think I'm gonna go with mortars to start, because you know mort. Oh, oh, that just didn't get deconned. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's grab our terps back, because again, I want at least say two or three. Now, why do I want a couple of terps? Well, this is this is their actual mission, and I forgot about it. So what we're gonna do is, again, uh, give them urns, and we're gonna actually terraform. Uh, and as you can see, uh, you know, it's very rocky. It's very bumpy. So we're going to want to terraform quite on high, right? Let's, uh, let's just try and level this area out. I want the inside to be essentially level, right? I'm going to say set it to 21st, right? Because that's what the center is. Now, we're not going to do that exactly because, you know, we do want stepping stones, for instance, right? So maybe we'll do 20, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, terraform to, say, 15 in an area. It's a much smaller area. Well, let's do the let's do the fives, because that'll be f next. Right, so we want an area of fives. Let's make it one bigger. Boop. So this will be, like, our fives. I'm only going to do the side and stepping stone up. I actually want this side to be as high as possible. Uh, actually, no, I don't. I want this side to be actually as low as possible because I want that shield to be safe. So I want this to stay zero. So boom, that stays zero. Just that block, though. Uh, over here, we're going to do a block of fives. And then we're going to do a block of tens and so on and so forth. Uh, so tens. And we're going to have a little bit of overlap because that's what I want. Ooh. My hand is falling. Fortunately, shift 
oh, shift only deletes. It does not keep you straight. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to have a block of 15s. Uh, this block I want to be a little bit smaller. So let's do something along this line. And that will get us to the top, right? Now we're going to have sort of a way to get to the top. And our turps are going are gonna to have a good old time. So toss in a couple more cannons on this side. Feels pretty good about that. And, of course, decon. I need to decon that square. I don't know why this didn't get deconned, but now it shall. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, wait. It's got deconned to level 3. I didn't realize uh, decon would change the height. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, so, oh, unless we're at level 3. Maybe that's why. Ah -ha -ha. But there we go. Uh, we have... Terps doing their thing. We have AC flooding, which is grand. We have cannons doing their thing. Again, we're going to uh, earn everything. Of course, we want to earn everything. Uh, and now our goal is to now use our bombers. Or, you need an earning as well. Uh, and I think, just to keep things uh, pretty, pretty smooth, we want to sort of clear up the area, right? So we're going to start on this side and start to work our way up, right? Start to work our way to the creation. Um, we could just go straight to the center, uh, but I don't think that's going to do too, too much at the moment. Whereas if we start to work on our, where we're planning on doing our uh, our level setting... Oh, I turned these off and set it back to energy. Go me! Ha <laughs> uh, ha! No, hell, I earn health, unit on. Oh, there we go. Uh, everything earn one, because, you know, again, it's there. Uh, just go back to energy. We don't even have a factory anymore! Uh, I think that's what's funny. And there we go. Look at this. We are making progress. Uh, maybe it needs a couple more turps, unfortunately. And I think the other thing is nearest first, of course. That is always a big thing. Uh, we can't do anything with MRFs or anything cool like that, unfortunately. Uh, but thankfully, with nearest first, what's also nice is as we do this, we do uh, maintain our, our level right? I mean, maybe you do put them, let's put them in the front, or the center, and see what happens. I mean, look at the amount of creep that these frickin' bombers are destroying. I mean, that's insane. They're doing such a good job. I didn't even realize the bombers would work this well. I mean, look at that. Holy crap. Um, yeah, they... <laughs> that's utter destruction. Uh, that is utter, utter, utter destruction. We've, we're, we're actually working on the reclamation right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually disable AC blocking and all of this and let the AC start to flow in, because holy crap. Uh, I was not expecting this much destruction coming in. And yeah, I think, I think the goal will be to have some more terps, because... I mean, realistically, we don't even need more terps. I guess the problem is, because of the way I did this, I would have to unpaint everything, and I'm kind of lazy. What I should do is just unpaint everything, build up to it, and then uh, then just have some fun, right? That's all we need right now. Uh, but I, I painted this, and I want to destroy the world with this. So, uh, as you can see, we have all of the things doing pretty good. And if we can... You know what? We can just clear a little bit of a spot. Terraform, or size one, whatever height, whatever height this is. You go away. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm on decon. Ha ha ha! There. Oop. No. Whatever height that is. Why is that not working? Uh, shift click to delete. There we go. Just. I can't delete the spot, and I don't know why. Oh, I'm still set to decon! There we go. I am a fool. Set to decon. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, that will get us all of our uh, lovely terps up. They are going to get their energy. They are going to be earned. Yeah, earn one. Nearest first. Let's go. And we have our way up. I mean... I really like having a nice little stepping stone. Feels kind of cool. Feels kind of nice. Uh, as you can see, these are finishing up. And yeah, uh, the real key is that we were able to hold this the entire time. We now have the entire outside, which is breeding for us. Uh, the, sh the planes are just doing the work. We have the, the sniper on the top, which is amazing. 
And we may even be able to start working on some nullification, maybe. So nullification does have to get pretty close, I will admit to that. So we can start moving some cannons in, though, which is fantastic. And oop, all of these all of these need to be set to nearest first. I don't think they all were, and that will help, because I think they were working over there, you know, doing some things. With them all set to nearest first and earned up, I mean, look at the way this is going. We are very clearly taking out the world. Ooh. Let that cannon go, and that's okay. Cannon, you did a great job. You did amazing. Uh, let's toss down some more tears as well. Toss down all the things. Again, look at this. We now have space. That's the most important part, is we now have space. Uh, there really isn't anything that they can do to stop us. Uh, we just have it all at this point. Uh, all of these just move on up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Give them, give them everything they need. Uh, and with all of these, of course, earn them. You know, we want the urns. And last but not least, I think now, fingers crossed, we can indeed do the nullifier. If we can toss it, say, right there. Uh, with these cannons... Ooh, no. Uh, so let's, let's take these cannons as well. Move them over. Uh, and... I guess these mortars? Let's move on over here. Sure, why not? Uh, again, we're just sort of adjusting our defenses that we currently had, just moving everything up, uh, because that's all that's left. Uh, there we go. Let's re-nullify. As you can see, it is trying. It's trying its hardest. Uh, but there's nothing that it can do, right? Uh, the nullifiers are coming in. It's beautiful. The mortars are keeping it down. The planes are keeping it down. The skimmers, we're going to need to nullify afterwards as well. It is a shame. Uh... But look, I mean, we have we have our stepping stone to victory. We have, you know, our terps just clear, you know, making the land nice and pretty for us. Our AC is taking over everything, of course. So, oh look, the the skimmers came out. The sniper handled it instantly, you know. And that is nullifier the first, which means all that is left is nullifier the second, which is honestly just going to be the easiest thing in the world because uh, there is no creep and it literally just fired. So we have three minutes before anything happens at all. Uh, so that's that's it. That's all there is to it. This map has been... This Im small impossible map has been completed. Uh, victory is achieved. We still have 15 urns available. I don't even care. Uh, the planes, though, those earned planes were doing some serious work. Gotta love it. Same thing. One lone sniper. Amazing. Having it on the, the right height. Uh, let's take a look at this with uh, flattening the AC. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Oh, the Terp Army doing its thing. Again, all of this is not necessary. I just kind of like it at this point. Because there we go. So this has been a series of tiny maps. And I had no idea how it was going to go. I am super happy with how this one went. Uh, I, I wasn't sure. Uh, especially because I destroyed the factory. Uh, remember... Oh, and I never built you. <laughs> one of the initial towers. Oh, you get you get built for posterity's sake. There we go. Good job, buddy. Um, and, you know what? Just for the sake of things, let's let our Terps finish the job. Because you know what? They've, they've been working real hard. Uh, and I'm always a fan of the Friendos. We will, of course, right after this, uh, see how we did in time, and have a wonderful uh, day. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff as well. I greatly appreciate uh, everything. I mean, everybody. So things are uh, are fantastic here, and I hope they're fantastic for you. But let's uh, finish this turpin because it's all that's left. Again, I wanted this to be low, again, just because we were shooting it, and I didn't want it to be too high and destroying the shields without the cannons to be able to shoot it. But yeah, easy peasy. And yeah, with these turps finishing up... Oh, there it is. Oh, look at it. And I love when it builds up. You just see, like, a little bit of the uh, split breeder, or split terrain, but then the split terrain looks like it just grows and grows and grows. Super, super cool. Gotta love it. Uh, there we go, and there is almost it. The corner is all that's left, and I think, apparently, I didn't paint that to level 20. So, get up there, corner. You're all that we need now. Bazinga. There we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, this has been a series of small maps. Thank you so much for joining me. 
Uh, let's check to see how we did. I think it was around 10 minutes or so, not too bad. Uh, what was it? Oh, 10, 11, 51. Oh, man. Uh, reclaim at 7 minutes. So, yeah, not not terrible. Not the best. Definitely could be faster. I think moving the planes straight to it would definitely have sped things up. Going for the planes earlier uh, would have sped things up as well. Basically, just establish your uh, cannon line at the shields and go straight for planes. And I think you're basically going to win this uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So, feel pretty good about it. Could have been faster, but I know how I would do it faster now. So, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.